This is a car. And this is a car on Mythbusters. Do not try what you're about to see at home. We're what you call experts. We are here at the Alameda runway to test hypermiling. Now, a car is most fuel efficient at higher speeds because it's using higher gears and it's using momentum of the vehicle. But at a certain point, those gears max out. You actually use more fuel to get more speed. Not only that, the faster that you go, the more wind resistance you're gonna experience, therefore making it less fuel efficient. So there's a theory that driving slower might actually save you fuel. And to test that theory, they've set up a circuit one mile long. Follow us for fuel savings. Learn about hypermiling. They'll drive 20 laps at 45, 55, and 65 miles per hour and get the fuel efficiency of each speed. But how will they track their gallons per mile? This piece of equipment right here is a very precise flow meter. It'll tell us how much fuel we consume. This is connected to the exhaust system. It's got a temperature sensor, pressure sensor, and a flow meter. We've got a weather center here that helps us out with humidity, atmospheric pressure, and ambient temperature, and a GPS to tell us precisely how far we travel. So with the high-tech rig on board, now it's time to high-tail it for the test. Ready for a road trip? 45 mile per hour test. Three, two, one, begin. Position running. Road trip! Don't worry, you're not seeing triple. <laughs> it's fun driving in circles, eh? It is. They do it at NASCAR all the time. With over 20 minutes at the same speed for each test, we're gonna need a split screen montage. I prefer road trips where we stop at cool destinations rather than take data. What do you mean? This is the road trip to science. I think we're in the lead. I don't see any other cars. <laughs> and while fuel efficiency data collection isn't the most stimulating. Sometimes you get to blow things up. Sometimes you drive in circles with the air conditioning off. The Mythbusters find a way to make it interesting. It's a consistent pattern here. Every time we go in this direction, it's 18 gallons per hour, and every time we go in that direction, it's about 22 gallons per hour. At higher speeds, the wind resistance is affecting the gas consumption. But will the hypermile speed of 45 miles per hour avoid that? All right, kids, we're almost home. Thank goodness. Finally, after over 30 laps, it's time to pull up and pump out the data. And we're here test. Okay, let's take our numbers over to the data acquisition team, let them export them, and do our comparison. I think we are going to see some serious savings 